Welcome back to FPTV Beta, I'm Nick Caramico, and I'm here to tell you about a problem that is sweeping the nation that many of you may not know about. No, it's not the use of what you're going to do just yet. It's bed bugs. It's been the year of the bed bug. No bigger than an apple seed, these little blood suckers have caused big problems. Taking another bite in the big apple this past weekend, when an infestation shut down Nike Town's flagship store in New York City. The latest addition to a growing list of retailers, corporations, even the Empire State Building, overrun by bed bugs. Yuck, I'm all itchy just thinking about it. Bed bugs are running wild in large cities and hotels. Even the Sirius XM radio building had to be cleared out for bed bug extermination. But what really is unbelievable is there are now a bed bug convention being held in Chicago to raise awareness about these pests. On display here in Chicago, the all out assault against bed bugs. <laughs> From bags for your suitcase, so you trap the bed bugs in here. Absolutely. To steamers for your mattress and everything in between. Who would attend such a depressing conference? The funniest moment in this news piece is when the reporter is holding a jar of bed bugs and her colleague makes a suggestion. And getting rid of these little guys, not easy. About $2,000 or more for the average sized home if you get an infestation, Harry. Mm. I dare you to open it up no. and drop it on the floor. <laughs> no. Just trying to have some fun with an otherwise boring topic, I guess. Well, moving on, we all know Yoko Ono is, let's say, a unique individual, but who knew she was capable of this? I really hope you didn't change the channel during that. So Yoko Ono performed this at the Museum of Modern Art not too long ago. This song of hers actually has a title and unbelievably has been performed several times prior to this incident. How can she remember how the thing goes? Here's a more of Yoko with her voice piece for soprano. Security should have locked her up and taken her away right there. I cannot imagine being at the museum that day, minding my own business, and all of a sudden hearing this nonsense yelling. I would have thought she was in need of help or something inappropriate was going down. Keep being you, Yoko. Speaking on people that need to be locked up, Snooky of the Jersey Shore fame made a recent visit to The Late Show with David Letterman, where he taught Dave the art of fist pumping. I would like to teach you the fist pump if uh, DJ Polly S can give me a beat. Yeah, two. Uh, am I gonna get hurt here? Just do it, you start here. It's amazing that this woman has gotten this famous from essentially doing nothing. On to someone who is not at all famous, but is a favorite around this station. Actually, I'll let him introduce himself. Hello, my name is Jeremy Frederick Wilson. But you can just call me Bombuddy Boo. Okay, so this kid posts video blogs on his YouTube channel on an array of topics ranging from school troubles to Lady Gaga songs, even interpretive poem readings. He goes by the name of Bumpity Boo. In one of his more recent videos, he reveals a devastating secret about himself. Here's it is. A couple of weeks ago, I discovered and struggled with the fact that I am an IVF baby. In layman's terms, a test tube baby from an anonymous sperm donor.
Bumpity Boo has a unique way of explaining himself, and here he continues his feelings on learning of his big secret. It's just very painful. The most painful part about it is that there may be tens, hundreds, thousands of other Jeremy Frederick Wilsons running around the planet. All of us not knowing the others exist and struggling with the pain of discovering that we were not created by a normal, hot and steamy coupling of lovers. It may be sad to laugh, but you have to love the way that video ends. He's so devastated he can't continue. Don't be too worried, audience. He has since posted a follow-up video where he is in the slightly better spirits. This clip may be the greatest thing I have ever seen right now. As of this filming, the next video I'm about to show you has received nearly one million views on YouTube, a couple hundred of which are undoubtedly my own. Take a look at this. Hi, my name's Karen. Today okay, so harmless so far, right? A girl's being filmed and making fruit salad. What could go wrong with this? Now that is the best thing. Uh, it's yummy. Yeah. Okay, There's see. apples in there. Apples, blueberries, and strawberries. Blueberries. You forgot blueberries. I said blueberries. 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 All right. So let's stop for a second and discuss one thing at a time here. That poor little girl obviously got hit in the face with a bowl. But let's watch it one more time. Blueberries. Blueberries. That had to hurt. I could talk about this video all day, but what I want to know is what kind of fruit salad is made with yogurt as the main ingredient. I'll never understand that. Also, I'm frankly mad that whoever was filming this didn't continue to film after she got hit in the face with the bowl. The best footage had to certainly be the mess that was on this little girl's face after it all fell on her. I'm sorry that sounds cruel, but let's look at it one more time in slow motion. <laughs> Before I go, I would like to bring up something that has come to my attention. Since the 24th of September, different websites including Entertainment Weekly and BloodyDisgusting.com have received promotional pieces for the upcoming movie Paranormal Activity 2. These have all been received in envelopes without postage on a flash drive. Each clip included on the flash drive contains a brief clip of a baby in different locations interrupted by a figure of a ghost, demon, or some other strange activity. What makes this interesting and relevant to us is that the return address on all of these envelopes is 40 University Drive, Ringe, New Hampshire, 03461, which just happens to be the address of this university. I have personally reached out to several university officials and have been denied any comment at this time. Here is one of the videos that is being distributed. For more information on this developing story and many more reviews, station news, and other campus-wide events, visit fptv25.com. That's the show for this week. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any video suggestions for next week, please email franklinpiercetv25 at gmail.com. I'm Nick Caramico. I'll leave you with this. <sighs> What's the first thing you do? Start the boat. What the f